children can feel proud that they took part in something, it was competitive, they showed their scholastic talent, and they remained in the field of being properly educated, not from how somebody else views them or how somebody else wants them to be educated. So, back to the rules. Please hold your applause when someone spells the word right. Hold your applause. And for those who are familiar with, we don't want no Kevin Hart moments up in here, okay? <laughs> okay? No Kevin Hart moments if y'all saw the Kevin Hart people. All right? Now, what will happen, all of you, though we have, we, got, we have four judges. Polo, grab the red and the yellow. There's a red and green paper on the table. Both of them are for you. One of our judges, Brother Polo, traded Poet Laureate, y'all don't know. What will happen? Take a look at brother, our little sister. Each child has two and a half minutes to spell a word. Two and a half minutes. Some people say that's long, some people say that's too short. Again, it's a whole different feeling when people got their eyes on you. And you're trying to spell a word even if you think you know it. They have two and a half minutes. What will happen in the final minute of them standing up here, Polo here will raise up so you all can see the red. No, the green, I'm sorry. Yeah, the green, I'm sorry. He'll raise it up when there's one minute left. And he will hold that up until the last 30 seconds of that one minute, and he will put the red up. And when he puts that down, you will hear that. That means the speller is disqualified. They did not make the two and a half minutes. Okay? Now, you will also hear that even if they spell the word wrong and he didn't get to that final minute and a half mark or the last minute, if they spell the word wrong, you will also hear that. Okay? And that would alert the judges. Every child had the opportunity to ask for the definition of the word, the origin of the word. We have 50 words. Looks like we have all 18 of our students here, 19. 50 words, 25 power words, and a few more that have been sprinkled about that we all are familiar with, just in case there's a tie and we gotta go a little bit deeper to you know, make it a little bit more challenging, okay? Please remember, hold your applause. We will have, and we go with time, we will have a small intermission once we get down to the final 10. And then after the five, after the 10, the five that's left from that, they're going to be the ones that go on and become Capital City Youth Development Council, the last team. And the final three of the five will be our top three that will give to the city of Trenton. Does everybody understand that? A decade, at least a decade we've attempted to infuse a sense of pride, a sense of respect, a sense of cultural self-determination in the city of Trenton. And we thank the city for allowing us to raise the red, black, and green right outside of the front. Hopefully one day we can get it out there all year round and get it at every school that our children go to all year round so they can see some symbol that reflects who they are. What this here does, African pride, Spelling competition is enhance or offer some substance to the symbol. Does everybody understand it? We have a black president. It's a symbol. What we're doing here, one of the themes of the Capital City Youth Development Council is to prepare, motivate, and prepare future leaders. But our innermost theme and objective is that every young child has to be a leader, they has to be a thinker, and what else, Chaz and Tyree? A doer. A doer. Leaders, thinkers, and doers. We can't just have people position and there's no substance behind them, though they look like us. What we're doing here is offering substance to the symbol. So by the time they get to those points that a lot of our leaders have come and gone at and are afraid to be who they are, we know that these young people are not going to be that way. So we have to have some substance behind all these symbols. The symbols are beautiful, but the substance is what's needed behind those symbols. Okay? All right.
many names that the Creator has bestowed upon us, the many expressions. Some call him Jesus, some call him Yah, some call him Jah, some call him Allah, some call him Jehovah. But we know all of us represent in some way an expression of the one God. As African people, we make no qualms about that. There's only one. All right? Expressed in many ways. Moment of silence for three people that stand out in this particular week that leads up to this very hour that we're standing here. Tuesday, February the 21st, which we just passed, was the original day we were supposed to host this. That was in honor of the 37-year anniversary of the assassination of Malcolm X. 47, I'm sorry. 47 years since our big brother Malcolm X was assassinated at the Audubon Ballroom in Harlem, New York. We know what Malcolm went through. In the eighth grade, seventh grade, one of his teachers told him when he said, I want to be a lawyer, I want to be an attorney. His white teacher told him, Malcolm, you don't want to do that. You're good with your hands. Your own people won't come to you. We know Malcolm was discouraged at that moment, but what he became for most of us young black men was a premier example of scholarship, a true representation of uncompromising leadership for black people. So we can never leave out any form of uh, revering ancestry without calling on Malcolm's name. Yesterday, February the 22nd, 1929, the backdrop to most of the consciousness in this particular city, Trenton, New Jersey, most of you who grew up in the area of Passaic Street, they used to call it God's Avenue. And Dolly Holmes, where I grew up at, we used to call it Divine Land. And most of y'all who y'all say, yeah, I'm going to get something to eat, I'm going to get, what's the word? Most of y'all would say, yeah, what's the hour? People walking around saying, peace. I'm going to get some nourishment. People saying, uh, you know, uh, what's up with the cypher? Peace, queen. What's going on, son? All that vernacular came from one man that gave birth to what is called the 5% nation of God's on earth. That's my spiritual development. If you have a cell phone, please put it on vibrate. Or turn it off. There's nothing more important right now, less of an emergency, than seeing these babies be beautiful as they are. And that person is known as Father Allah, known to many in the Nation of Islam as Clarence 13X, as yesterday, February 22nd. And today, another premier example, February the 23rd, we know the scholarship that this man represented. Though he had, at one time, a very anti- just an anti-view of what the red, black, and green represents. W.E.B. Du Bois, a lot of his history is entrenched in <laughs> the quote-unquote terminology that we use as sellout. A lot of his first history is entrenched in what would be considered the Negro sellout or that talented tent of the 1920s and 30s. But until he, like most of us should do, was able to learn to connect those, uh, connect the dots of what African-centered culture really means and self-determination really means, he was really going against Marcus Garvey when he brought this to us. W.E.B. Du Bois. Him and Garvey used to fight tooth and nail about the ideals of self-determination, going back to Africa. Nationhood. Later on in his life, when he connected those dots, he said, you know what? Garvey was right. This is already after Garvey had been ran out of this country, back to Jamaica and died basically a recluse you know, in Jamaica. But what W.E.B. Du Bois did is said, you know what? Garvey always told us to go back to Africa, and he never made it. He made sure that Marcus Garvey's body was taken to Africa and buried in the mother and fatherland. And W.E.B. Du Bois is also buried in Accra, Ghana. So those particular points of our history family should let us understand, to, to make us understand Though we are at one point of our conscious development right now, never stop learning. Never stop you know, attempting to mature in your knowledge and your consciousness because pretty soon we all gonna find out what the truth is, though it may hurt, though it's painful, going from one stage of your development to another stage of development. We all need to grow in our consciousness. Stop being complacent knowing that your child can't read in the 12th grade. Stop being complacent with that. Don't, don't let that slide, okay? The point is, and was made clear, 
that somebody, something had to get done and somebody had to do it. This is the backdrop to the creation of the Capital City Youth Development Council, where our sole purpose, again, is to motivate and prepare future leaders simply because we're going to need them. And what better way to prepare them other than by properly educating and equipping them with the conscious tools that are needed for their proper growth and development. If all we keep saying to them is knowledge is power, and no one shows them how to obtain real power and use that power to reinvigorate the kind of greatness that once made us powerful and proud to be black and proud before the song and dance, we're going to continue to have problems. A few of these young people here tonight are members of the Capital City Youth Development Council, and they are required to stay at the beginning of our after school sessions. I am a leader, I am a thinker, and I am a doer. That's the mental starting point we want to instill in all of the children and youth we encounter as we move forward. We know what is needed for our boys and girls, that they do not and will not get in the Trent Public School System and others. So we have stepped up, stood up, and began to brighten a portion of their past and greatness. We cannot expect anything less. They will be our leaders, they must be our thinkers, and they have to be our doers. We now present to you our 2012 African Pride Spelling Feathers. Give a round of applause. All right. Somebody had hope sick. going to start with Corey Hayes. Yeah. The sad part is that we have this uh, podium here, they couldn't find another mic because Kathy would get us in the front. So all of you are a little bit tall. You will come over here and spell it, okay? All right? <laughs> unless, unless you can get it. Just fine. Right? I'm loud enough. Corey Hayes. Spell revolution. Revolution. R E B O L U T I O N. Taylor Green. Spell determination. Determination. D E T E R M I N A T I O N. Determination. Salil Siplin. Spell Liberation. 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 L I B E R A T I O N. Liberation. Anaya Carter. D 
A Kosawa Squire Rebel. Am I saying that right? No. <laughs> a Kosawa Squire Squirrel. A Kosawa Squirrel. Spell courageous. C O U R A G E O U S. Kevin Lynn. Spell community. Community. C U M M U N I T Y. Azikiway Kemet. Spell resistance. 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 R E S I S T A N C E. Mike Conover. Spell empowerment. Empowerment. E M P O W E R M E N T. Empowerment. Chaz Swan. Spell inspiration. Inspiration. I N S P I R A T I O N. Inspiration. Tyree Swan. <laughs> Spell spirituality. Spirituality. S P I R I T U A L I T Y. Spirituality. Makonan Tafari. Spell continent. Continent. C O N T I N E N T. Continent. Taylor Green. Spell original. Original. O R I G I N A L. Original. And T I F I C. Spell 
Melanin. Melanin. M E L A N N I N. Melanin. Salil Siflin. Spell Pyramid. Pyramid. P Y R A M I D. Pyramid. Azikiway Kimmins. Spell Diaspora. Diaspora. D-I-N-S-P-O-R-A. Chaz Swan. Universal. 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 U N I V E R S A L. Universal. Tyree Swan. Ancestor. Ancestor. Chaz Swan. Spell Fearless. Fearless. F E A R L E S S. Fearless. I see you way, Kim.
spell natural. <laughs> natural. A N A T U R A L. Righteous. Righteous. R I G H T E O U S. Righteous. Righteous. 